Welcome to another Where in the World is Woody? Well, today we're going to do a little bit of a video here because we got a letter from uh, Lauren Mohan. And uh, apparently, while she was looking for a, some kind of a recipe for lasagna, she stumbled across one of our old videos about how to train Tilly. Well, back then, Tilly was pretty young. Now she's a little bit older. And uh, uh, Lauren Mohan here is uh, wondering whether or not she got any smarter. Well, today I thought I'd answer that question just by uh, showing you what we do when we train dogs. Before you go out to train a dog, what you should do, especially young dogs, is get them a little bit tired. You don't want them going all rambunctious when you're trying to teach them some real important things. So here's what we do. First, you find a dog. Come on, Tilly. Here. So what you do is throw a ball a few times, try to get the dog tired out a little bit, and then you can train her. You could probably train a dog able to throw a, uh, throw a ball a lot farther. You can get the dog to get a stick. Tilly, here. Where's your stick? There, come here. Sit. See, that wasn't... Anyway. You can actually see her? Okay, sit. Hold it. You always try to get a dog to hold it, just in case it happens to be a live bird. Here. Here. When a dog comes back with a bumper, you want him to come over here and hold it, absolutely still. Hold it, sit. Because it might be a live bird, and if they dropped it, it would fly away. Now sit. There you go. Well, there's a couple of things you're, you you want to do when you're uh, training a dog. Every time they come back, you want to blow a whistle. Um, that will uh, make them <laughs> make them think that every time every time they hear a whistle, they have to come back. The other thing you want to do is when you put out two or three dummies, if there happens to be two or three different ducks, you only want the dog to bring back one at a time. Usually with young dogs, they'll pick up one, drop it, pick up the other one, drop it, and they'll spend a bunch of time down there uh, deciding which one to bring. If the minute they touch one of those three dummies I've put down there, you blow the whistle, they should pick it up and come back. Let's try that. Tilly, back. See, she looked at the other dummies. Here. Sit. Hold. And she should sit here until I give her permission to go. Back. Again with the whistle. And they get used to that. Sit. Hold it. Good dog. Okay, turn it off. So now what we're going to do when the dog comes back with a bird and you're out hunting, you don't want them running around in the field or sitting beside the blind. So we've trained this little dog to hide in her own little blind. And we're going to get her to try to do that with this one. Mark, back. Hide. Hide. Get in there. Stay. <laughs> Well, there we go. Well, there you go. She's uh, in. The, she's in her blind. Uh, if we learn any more tricks, we'll get back to you again some other time. So, in the meantime, good hunting, good fishing, good shooting.